Previously on Pokemon Sword. Want to battle again? I'd feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in a battle against low level opponents. I'm not in the mood to deal with weaklings right now. So, what happened to your cockiness? Poker here. <laughs> Anyway, let's go. Ah, you are the trainers endorsed by Leon, Hop and Kindred, am I right? I'm just training right up until the last moment so that I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you gym challengers. I specialize in fire type Pokemon, and the water type Pokemon in Gunner Mine number 2 are the perfect opponents to train against. Maybe Farfetch is somewhere around here. Oh, there we go. It's Farfetch. Galarian Farfetch, here we go. That look. He's angrier than Cantonian Farfetch. Like what I said, we are going to use False Wipe. He does Fury Cutter. gonna keep on using false swipe oh crap that's not good for Grodd I have a feeling it's going to use another fury cutter so I'm going to switch to Pikachu to inflict thunder wave to inflict paralysis by using thunder wave brutal swing let's use thunder wave And Pikachu is down. Pika. Just like that. We can use Grodd again. It can survive at least one more Fury Cutter. Hmm. Full swap. That will leave it with one HP. See? Even if... Even if it hit... As a critical hit. It still wouldn't faint the opposing Pokemon. Since now we know that we can find the Galarian Farfetch in this area. Although, how difficult would it be to catch? Well, that's just our first Pokeball. Maybe instead of Pikachu, I'll use Eldegoss. I think Eldegoss can take hits better. Hmm, that's bad. Grod fainted. We may have our hands on. A really good far fetched nature. Unless he naturally has a high attack stat. Gotcha. Alright, let's see. Your data in the Pokedex. Wild Duck Pokemon, Fighting Type, Galarian Form. The far fetched of the Galar region are brave warriors, and they wield thick, tough leaks in battle. Hmm, let's see your summary. Nice! Yes! We got an adamant right. We got an adamant right from the beginning. Steadfast. The Pokemon's determination boosts the speed stat each time the Pokemon flinches. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, you're going to be in my party. The only thing we are missing is Leak. I'll die item Leak. Might as well add you to her. Might as well add you to the party now. And switch. Hmm. Let's switch Yamber. Noticing something. <laughs> S 
still okay finally finally we have the item leak what would I like to do place the item on my bag of course yay now we're all set hello hello YouTube we are finally going to progress further into the story of Pokemon sword before we enter the Bidu drop in Let's have first Farfetch learn Focus Energy. Main reason I'm going to let it learn Focus Energy is because to make it easier to evolve into Surfetch. To be able to evolve Igalarian Farfetch into Surfetch, we would need to land 3 critical hits in a single battle. So with his Leer Held item and by using Focus Energy during the battle, I'm sure we will be able to accomplish that easily. Oh, it's Marnie! Uh, Challenger Kindred, right? Out giving it your all even this late, huh? Hey, help with something for a sec. I want to see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. Alright. Wicked, got some fight in you, huh? Hmm. Timiel is cheering behind morning. Funny. Frogonk. Also, I'm interested in seeing this Athena. This Pokemon has quite high defenses. Damn, Sucker Punch. It's gonna be super effective. Hmm, one side beam. One side beam was enough to take it down. Good. And healing with Shell Bell. Okay, Athena leveled up. Scraggy. Hmm. It's Dark type. We use life do restore our own HP. Let's see. Wonder if it has any dark type move. Let's use disarming voice. It's not gonna end if you keep on using life do. Might as well attack it. At least that reduces its HP. Fighting type. Hmm. Coughing me do well against this guy. Neutralizing gas. Plus coughing has leftovers. Let's use Mog Sludge. Let's use Sludge. Poison? No. No problem. Another headbutt. Keeps on using headbutt. Doesn't it know other moves? I wonder when can we get Black Sludge? Where's this? More Peko. More Peko. So it's her body Pokemon. I have no idea about its type. It's a Sludge Undershock. <clears throat> Electric, I guess. Can we inflict Poison? Poison, Poison. Poison. Nice. Good job, coughing. Coughing is going to go down. <coughs> hmm.
If I switch to Athena, just gonna faint too. How about the car code? Let me check his summary. <laughs> hmm. 7 defense. 47 special defense. Not bad. Should we use far fetched? Nope. What's up to Karkul? Should be able to take it. Hmm, transformed? Wonder what happens if it transforms. Okay. Hmm, I think this move expresses my feelings. What do you think? What? What move? Bite? And it faints because of the poison. Good job, Cargo. Good job, team. Did well, guys. Farfetch is now level 22, at least. Beat me. Guess you must not be too bad after all, huh? We got 6,000 thanks to Amulet Coin. Guess I'd better get to bed and rest up for tomorrow. Better get to sleep too. Okay, went straight to sleep. And it's the next morning. I wonder where it's up. Morning, Kindred. That friend of yours already went off to challenge the next gym. Cabo's league card is supposed to help against him, but I ended up with a few copies. I'll give you one. Don't look so chuffed. It's no big deal. Hmm, thank you, Marnie. Take this too. A little something for our battle yesterday. What is that? Hmm, two burnt hills. <laughs> Bet you'll have no trouble beating that man of fire Cabo chap, right? Why don't you get over to Motostoke Stadium and get that gym badge already? That's what I'm going to do. Quit my job so I could watch the gym challenge. <laughs> Took a sick leave. Anyway, see you, Marnie. Everything is blocked. Let's head directly to the gym. And happy see you. Don't tell me you want to fight. Don't tell me you want to battle. Oh, you already have your fire badge. Okay. That man of fire cub is just what you'd expect. Nearly got burned in my battle with him. Even my even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go. But I still won in the end. Get a sheaf on, Kindred. I bet you could beat the man of fire too. Well, thanks for the words of encouragement, Hop. Oh, we got a Pokeball. Not just any old Pokeball, but then who am I, you ask? Well, the answer is simple. They call me the Ball Guy. Okay, thanks for the... Thanks for the Pokeball Ball Guy. Okay. Let's see if our team can take the Gym Challenge. Hello, Hop. Are you gonna cheer for me? Don't have many challenges because Peter Cobb has made this gym mission so hard. Time to change to my uniform. What's the gym mission? What's the gym challenge? No clue whatsoever? Okay. Hmm. It's a Vulpix. 
was a wild Vulpix. The gym mission for the fire gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Oh, wow. Earn 5 points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn 1 point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass. Or 2 points for catching Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rack up points. Gym mission. Startle. You should catch Who's this? This is Lipid? Oh, okay hmm. An interesting gym mission Oh really? Oh seriously you want to do that? <laughs> Just gonna fade because of just because of what you did. Hmm, brutal swing. By Salandit. By Salandit. <laughs> Salandit. You mini. You mini. No far fetched. Can faint on me. Critical hit on Salandit. Critical hit on Sizzlipid. Use Sun Attack. Hmm. Sizzlipid used Coil. To whom? Don't tell me, to me. Oh, okay, okay. It's. I forgot about Coil. It increases stats. We landed, managed to man managed to land 3 critical hits, so. Hmm. Let's just do Car Coil. This Pokemon cannot be burned. Anyway, good job, Farfetch'd. Challenge it to send attack. It's not gonna do anything. See? And you even boosted Karko's speed. Hmm. Let's just use. Let's feign Challenge it. Wait, what? Anyway, you're done. It's up to me to catch this guy. Bug bite. Hmm, let's use flame charge. I don't think it will faint it. Oh, what? crap. Flash fire. Had no idea that it has the flash fire ability. Let's just keep using rapid spin. Hmm. One more rapid spin. Okay. Time to use a Pokeball. We earn 2 points by catching the Pokemon, right? Okay, that's 2 points. How many points do we need in total? And because we managed to land 3 critical hits in one battle, Farfetch is evolving. <laughs> and now we have Sir Fetched. Let me see your stats, Sir Fetched. Wild Duck Pokemon. Only Farfetch that have survived many battles can attain this evolution. When this Pokemon sleep withers, it will retire from combat. Mm. Shall never wither them. Wants to learn Iron Defense. Iron Defense. 
I want to keep the focus energy. Hmm. Your recutter. We need iron defense. Okay. Let's forget Fury Cutter. You can make it remember it anyway. And Sislipid's data will be added to the Pokedex. Fire type and bug type Pokemon. That's two points. Need to use Burn Heal for Surfetched. And then Super Potion. And to Caracol as well. Let me see Surfetch stats. 75 attack, 49 defense. 45 special defense. How does it fare against the others? Hmm. Well, it has a higher attack versus Kindred, no. But Kindred no has higher defenses. Hmm, what is this? I think this one is a dark type or ghost type. Uh, what's the name of this Pokemon again? Litwick, Litwick. Hmm. Will it faint in one brutal swing? Let's see. Okay, good. Still. Still alive. What are you doing, Sizzlipid? Hex, what does it do again? Can I use a Pokeball now? Oh crap. Uh huh. What are you doing, Sizzlipid? Being annoying to me. Oh good. Thank you, my opponent Pokemon. We still have another Pokemon. Just want to catch this guy already. Come on. Litwick. Time to just poison fan. Don't kill the Litwick. Don't faint it. Don't faint the poor guy. Hmm. I need to switch out Surfetch. Or nah. Next turn. Don't have any Pikachu or Eldegoss with me. To help, to help in terms of catching. Uh huh. Damn, Salandit. I hate you. Damn, Surfetched. Surfetched is gonna faint. Let's switch to something else. Let's switch to coughing. Hmm, or charcoal. Let's switch to charcoal. Switch to charcoal. Or perhaps we should have switched to coughing. Wait, too late for that now. Let's keep using Pokeball. And it's being difficult to catch. Mm-hmm. This is great ball. Hmm. Come on. Okay, good. That's two points. Incinerate. Hmm, what does it do again? This your attack supposed to Pokemon with fire. If a Pokemon is holding a certain item, it gets burned up. Okay. 36 special attack. 40 attack. 
I think I prefer Flame Charge. Not to mention Flame Charge is the benefit of increasing its speed. Just one more to victory. Hmm. Time to heal Sarfetch. Thank God we have an antidote. An antidote. Stop being mean to Sarfetch. Oh, it's a Vulpix. Yeah, do we already have a Vulpix? Roly Coly. Yeah, we already have a Vulpix. Let's use... Brutal Swing. Fight off the bat. Hit everyone! Incinerate. Both of us. And because of it... Probably call this ability activated. Let's try to catch it. We're here anyway. Never mind. And Rolly Colly fainted it. <laughs> Wait, so I should faint the Pokemon first. Is that right? I think I should faint the Pokemon first. And it's Sizzlipid again. Perfect Soul is landing critical hit. Critical hits. I thought Lake is supposed to only affect Farfetch and not Surfetch. I wonder. Let's see. Wait. Coughing is now level 26. And we have cleared the mission. So we only need to catch at least two Pokemon and then... Let's heal everybody. Catch two Pokemon and just paint one. We need five points total. I'm gonna go with Surfetch. See how well you do Surfetch. Oh, it's beside me. Wanna run? <laughs> this is quite intense. Fire Gym Leader Kabu. What Pokemon do you have? Welcome, I am Kabu. The fire type gym leader. The fact that you are here means you've bested both Milo's grass type Pokemon and Nessa's water types too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer in Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory, but that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. Words of inspiration from Kabu. Let's do it. Who's gonna be your first Pokemon? Nine Tails. I wasn't expecting a Nine Tails. What level is Nine Tails? Twenty-five. Hmm. I don't know how. Oh crap! That's bad. That's that's not good. That's not good. Of 
Barca and Noob. Hmm, let's see. Let's see how much how much damage we can deal with. Hmm, 40, 60. See if we can lower its defense stat. Ember. That's critical hit already. At least it lowered its defense. Let's use one more rock smash. Ember again. Lower defense? No. Okay, good. Damn, Sir Fetch. Can you take two more hits? I think it's time I use Brutal Swing. Come on. It's not enough. Crap. I'll need to switch Surfetch. Uh huh. Nine tails, nine tails. It uses Ember. Let's use Athena. He did great. He did great, Surfetch. Attack. Critical hit. Mm -hmm. Let's use side beam. It's gonna use Willow Wisp, but it won't have any effect to Athena in terms of how much damage it can deal because having a burn status only halves your attack stat. Only affects your attack stat, not special attack. And side beam. Side beam is based on special attack. Okay. Three or four Pokemon leveled up. Arcanine. He has fully evolved Pokemon, I see. Intimidate. Let's use Life Dew. Nah, let's use Side Beam. And it used Bite. Oh crap. Good job. You've done your part, Athena. You've done your part. Let's see. Now's your time to shine, coughing. Willow Wisp, okay. So all of this guy's Pokemon has Willow Wisp, I think. Poison? Good job. Good job, coughing. What is assurance again? If the target has already taken some damage in the same turn, his attack's power is doubled. Hmm. I think it's better if I still use Sludge. Okay, Flame Wheel would increase its speed or no? Okay, nope. Bless the leftovers. Really adds bulk to coughing, despite being despite being burned. We basically just cancel out each other. Burn the leftovers. Then using sludge. The poison should finish Arcanine. Yes. Nice, nice. You've done your part, coughing. Okay, who's going to be your final Pokemon, Kabu? Centi- What? Oh, it's the evolved form of the Centipede Pokemon. Oh well, coughing is gonna faint.
Okay, he's gonna the Gantamax send this cork. Send this cork, yeah. Hmm. That's quite a big centipede. I think its form changed. G-Max Centiferno. Oh crap. <laughs> Don't worry, coughing. Don't worry about it. Let's fight fire with fire. Let's go, Cargol. Well, not really fight fire with fire since we have Rock type move, Smackdown, and Ancient Power. Time to Dynamax as well. Let's use Max Rockfall. Time to unleash your full potential, Carcoal. Show that centipede what you got. It's gonna be. It's gonna move first, okay. Max Flatter by. Not very effective. I think that's bug type. Definitely bug type. Hmm. Special attack fell. That's not going to affect us. Take a look at this. Can you withstand it? Just one more and you're done. Hmm. Sandstorm because of that move, I see. You've learned something new. It's not gonna do anything. It's not going to affect Quarko that much. And this is going to be our final blow. Bam. And with that, you're now going to get The fire badge. Good job, Carcoal. There's even a sandstorm. <laughs> great Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. You got 8,644 winning. Thanks to Amulet Coin. We're racking lots of we are racking lots of money. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly, your talents surpassed my many years of experience. Still have much to learn. I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you've defeated me. GG! GG Gym Lyricabu can now catch Pokemon of up to level 35. We're gonna do a lot of catching, guys. Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Gala region's culture. It is the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, also help it become something better. We adults will be the pillars for use of build on. Alright, up, I got the fire badge. Figured that if anyone could do it, you and Sir Fetch would be the ones, but still. That match had me right at the edge of my seat. So you wanna battle again, Hop? <laughs> Challenger Kindred, I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you accomplished here today. Oh, nice. Got a Willow Wisp for coughing. This will be very useful for coughing. And take one of our uniforms. It's the same design as Kabu himself wears. We got the fire uniform. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your uh, to try your hand against the gyms that await you. Starting in the city of Hammerlock. 
head back down into the wild area surrounding this city, then make your way to Hammerlock. Okay, noted. With all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out ourselves. Is there anything here? Nothing. And Sammy wants a battle now, Hop. I need to heal my Pokemon first. Oh, really? <clears throat> Hurry it up, Kindred. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. But what? Hmm, you're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off? Oh, I bet you can already tell that I'm the one who'd become the next champion, yeah? <laughs> There are many trainers who never managed to gather 3 gym badges and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see of any trainers who are able to defeat me. Hmm. Oh, Nessa is here too and Milo. Hey, we made it. Thank goodness for flying taxis. Kindred, Hop, congratulations. It's pretty amazing you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym, lead, gym challengers are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We like to get together to see them off, as a way of showing our support. So allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, 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 hop, you can do it, you can do it, kindred! <laughs> the gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thanks you all. We're gonna keep winning, we've got it. We've got to if we want a face-off in the Champion Cup after all. Come on Kindred, let's head for Hammerlock. We're gonna do a lot of catching in the wild area for the next episode. Okay, we are now back at the wild area. We'll be able to catch a lot of Pokemon. Because because of the fire badge. So that's the way towards Homerlock. I'm catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page in the tale of my legend. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. No, it's, it's the cocky bastard again. The champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, it seems half you can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish. More like you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest and my bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not gonna listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll battle you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on then. I know you challenged Kindred to battle in Galar my number 2 and lost to him there and I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. All this prattle about Kindred and the champion and whatnot. Do you not have anything of your own to show? I'll show this while in my real skills in battle. So, see you later Kindred. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. Hey, we need to heal. Our party is healed already. Okay. Anyway. This will be the end of this episode, guys. Next episode, we are going through the wild area once again. And we are going to catch a bunch of new Pokemon. So, see you.